They have welcomed me with such open arms at a time when I was feeling particularly down and broken. Lori Lachlan is opening up about finding community during one of her toughest moments. This past weekend, the Fuller House alum made her first TV appearance since the college admissions scandal. She took part in a telethon called Lead with Love 3, which supported the nonprofit Project Angel Food. Lori spoke about her volunteer work with the organization over the past year and a half and reflected on how welcoming they were during her low point. It is a community, it is a family, and all the people that work here are just so wonderful. They have welcomed me with such open arms at a time when I was feeling particularly down and broken. That's how I found a home here, and that's what I feel like they did for me. Lori went on to share that she's proud to be a part of an organization that really cares. It's really a community. It's more than just feeding people, it's about loving people and helping people, and I think that is so important. Lori's appearance comes one month after she made her first high-profile appearances following the college admissions scandal. She first stepped out at the 2022 Design Care Gala, benefiting Holly Robinson Pete and Rodney Pete's Holly Rod Foundation. And a few days later, she was there to cheer Holly on as she got her star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Three years ago, Lori and her husband Massimo Giannulli were arrested on fraud charges after they were accused of paying $500,000 in bribes to get daughters Olivia Jade and Bella Giannulli into the University of Southern California as fake rowing recruits. They pleaded guilty the following year. Lori left prison in December 2020 after two months behind bars. As she charts her path forward following the ordeal, her daughter Olivia Jade has two. The 22-year-old appeared on Dancing with the Stars last year. After her time on the show, she told Access Hollywood what she hopes people have learned about her. Well, A, for starters, I think the one thing that always got to me was people saying, like, she doesn't have a work ethic or, you know, she doesn't work for anything and stuff, just that narrative. That sucks to hear as just a young woman, especially because when I started my YouTube, I was so young at the time and I had so much drive at such a young age and I felt like I did want people to see that, you know, everything that was written about me wasn't necessarily true. And so hopefully people just saw that I'm kind, I have a good heart, and that I really like to dance now. Yeah. So. <laughs>